and you think that, oh yeah, that's my guy. That's my guy. This person has my back. No, they don't. No, they don't. <clears throat> Ice in my veins. I've been driving this train. Years in this lane. This Gentlemen, greetings and welcome back to another episode. Today I'm going to talk to you all about why co-workers are not your friends. Fellas. Why are we trusting these people? Why? When you walk into work, that is a place for you to go and get your money. That is a place for you to go and make a living. Not go make your BFFs, your best friends forever. It's the wrong place to, to do that, fellas. My suggestion would be to, to not let these people know anything personal about you. It's a lose-lose. More often than not, these people being in your business, it can only come back to haunt you in the future. And I've seen it happen time and time again. When you walk into that stab cafeteria and you see Tammy and Jim Bob and Jose, and you see them all circled up in their little group, in their little crew, and what are they doing nine times out of 10, fellas? Oh yeah, they're in there talking shit. They're in there talking shit. They're in there gossiping and clowning. And seven, eight, nine times out of 10, they're talking about the manager. They're talking about the boss. Almost always. The majority of people are negative. And not only do they hate their job, they hate themselves. They hate how they're living. They hate their lifestyle. And they're just generally not happy. This has pretty much been, no matter where I've been, any job I've ever been at, fellas, most people are not happy. And all they want to do is complain and talk shit about the boss and the manager. Never do these people take any personal accountability about the current circumstances they're in. They just want to point the finger about why their life sucks or why they're not able to get ahead. And so guys, if they're talking this way about the manager, what makes you think that they're not gonna be talking about you that way as well? Oh, fellas, because I guarantee you that they will. As soon as they find out that you're going through a breakup or a divorce, or maybe you got into some type of legal situation, whatever it is that happened, Oh yeah, these people are gonna be talking shit about you. These people are gonna be uh, running your name through the mud and gossiping. And obviously you may have some people up there at the job that you can trust, but it's still rare. It's still rare. And I wouldn't count on these people uh, being there for you because it's highly likely that they won't. You make your friends outside of the job. Maybe your friends from high school or from college or from back in the day. But stop putting so much trust into these people, fellas, because I'm telling you it's going to come back to haunt you. And then you're going to be upset. You're going to be disappointed. You're going to feel all heartbroken and, and backstabbed and, and betrayed when you find out that these people did you wrong or when you find out the things that they had to say about you. That's why you can't really put any, any emotion into these people. You be cordial at the job. You be kind, you be professional, but don't let these people in. I've made this mistake in the past. And you think that, oh yeah, that's my guy. That's my guy, this person has my back. No, they don't. No, they don't. Because this same person who you think has your back, if anything happens to you fellas, I'm telling you, if you get hurt, if you go to the hospital, if anything happens, do you think they're gonna show up to support you? You think they're gonna bring you any flowers or a gift card? Or even, or even send you a text checking up on you? Do you think these people will even send you a fucking text to check up on you? No, they won't. 
No, they won't. Because co-workers are not your fucking friend. They're not, fellas. And you can play that game if you want to. But you're going to find out for yourself. When you put your trust into these people. You tell these people all about uh, your breakup. Pretty soon, everybody in the goddamn office is going to know about your relationship status. Everybody in your office is going to know that your wife cheated on you or left you. You tell one person, thinking that they're going to shh, keep it a secret. No, that shit ain't a secret. Everybody knows. Everybody knows. So my best advice would be to, to keep business and personal separate the best you can because you're I don't want you guys getting hurt or being disappointed by the the backstabs and the betrayals that happen by getting too close and friendly with people at work and I know it's tough because you spend a lot of time with some of these people and like I said fellas you may find the rare gem you may find one or two and I certainly have found one or two people in my day who I would consider a true friend it's possible. It's possible. But don't count on that shit. And don't be surprised when you find out that everybody knows. That's all I'm saying. Go to work. Get your money. Do everything you can to improve your financial situation. And use your job as a springboard to get to the next step. Use the income from your job to invest into yourself. Use the income from your job to get you to that next thing so that you're not stuck in this job for life unless you just absolutely love what you're doing and you know fellas I ask people all the time I ask them hey you know do you love what you do if you could get paid to do anything what would it be and nine times out of ten it's not what they're doing right now so what does that tell you, fellas? That tells you that most people are, are doing a job that they don't really like and that they're not passionate about. But this is what happens when you get complacent and you stop believing in yourself and you stop working hard and you stop trying to progress in life. And some of it is family circumstance, having kids, having a wife, whatever the case is. But you can't let these external things stop you from trying to progress and getting too friendly with co-workers will only lead to disappointment in the future in my opinion from my experience unless you know for certain that this is a place where you're not going to be at very long or it's kind of like a temporary situation where you know you don't really care about this job then hey I'm mean, so be it But hold your personal life sacred, fellas. Hold your personal life sacred. Don't be telling people all your deepest, darkest secrets at the job. And if you do, then you got to live with whatever consequence comes with that. Because people are snakes. People are snakes. And you got to remind yourself that most people, when they go to work... They're just not happy individuals. So they love nothing more than to turn this shit into a soap opera and to just talk about all the latest gossip. They love to gossip. So do you want to be at the center of that gossip? And if you do, that's cool. <clears throat> if you just truly don't care. But I would say, don't tell these people shit. Don't tell them shit. Treat them as associates. Keep them at an arm's length. Go to work, work hard, get your money, use it to invest back in yourself so you can eventually get the fuck out of there and do your own thing and work for yourself if that's what you're trying to do. Because that's what I've been preaching on this channel for a year and a half now. We want financial freedom. 
We don't want to be counting on a lame ass job that we don't even like. We don't. We want to work for ourselves, if possible. I know that may not be for all, all of you guys, but that's certainly what I want. And that's what I'm advocating for. I'm advocating for freedom from the fucking matrix. And all these clowns who want to come to work every day and just gossip and talk about the boss and talk about the manager and talk about how bad leadership is, even though these are the same people who can't lead themselves. These are the same people whose life is in chaos and misery and depression and anxiety. Yet they have the nerve to want to talk about somebody else and their problems like they're fucking perfect. Like they're perfect. Oh, but they want to run their mouth about you. Fellas, co-workers are not your friends. So do not treat them as such. They're not your friends. So remember, fellas, you are the prize. Continue to work on yourself day in and day out. Fellas, if you found any value in this video, remember to like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell notification. Come pledge to your boy's Patreon if you want to support me and get a whole new catalog of weekly content. And fellas, I'll see you all on the next video. Peace. I withdraw on the things I make I turn flaws into flawless traits I build tall, never cap in space I won't stop till I hear him say oh, oh.